Little, yes, I suppose. I mean, um, I've got a son who is approaching middle age now, and uh, he calls me Gadget Man. And I guess that I do pick up on the latest in technology in, in terms of what goes on on stage in front of me. Yeah. And I guess that's due to the fact that I came from a good school in Abbey Road where I made six or seven albums and we all helped in our own little way there yeah. whilst we were making records there to push the frontiers of, of modern music and, and the way that it was made forward a bit. So I am a bit sort of conscious in that way. Yeah. And besides that, I'm, I've always been a beatnik. I've never been a... Well, no, that's a lie as well. I, w I, was, I was bohemian, and I still am. <laughs> I missed the beatnik. I was never a hippie. Yeah. But you're not the um, sort of person to write, you know, silly love songs, really. You know? No. No, no. I, I, I've steered a well clear to all my life of writing the, the, you know, the simplistic boy meets girl type of thing. Uh, it's never attracted me. I mean, mm. by nature, I'm a poet. Um, if I'm remembered at all, I guess I'd like to be remembered for that. Right. So that, that doesn't interest me really at all. Yeah. I, I guess you've seen a few music fads come and go. W what do you think of where music's at today? Uh, it's in a strange place. Music today is in a very strange place because it's not what it used to be. It was a gigantic fashion in the, in the late uh, 60s and early 70s. But it's now lost ground to other, other things, to other leisure activities, you know, sort of uh, dinging the dongs and, uh, you know, squeezing the... whatever you want to do, you know, yeah. building your body up to the size of your head. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, all, all sorts of rubbish is overtaking it. So it's not, it's not quite as fashionable as it was. Yeah. So, so where does that leave Jugular in, in 1986? Where's um, its place? It's a record by itself, all mine are. I can't, you can't hope to classify them, I don't think. Uh, not in terms of uh, popular music. It stands at, at, at one of the poles, if you, to, to look at modern music as, uh, uh, you know, a planet. It's by itself. I'm a person who tends to write um, all the way music, rather than sort of halfway, uh, uncommitted, uh, you know, a waffle. <laughs> Mind you, I am capable of waffle. <laughs> so, are, are you happy now with what success you've had? No. Uh, yes, I have to be. Uh, but you're only as good as your last record. Yeah. Um, I'll always be striving for better within myself. And I think it's, um, I think I'll never get there because I'm, I'm a perfectionist. So yeah. I'm never going to get there anyway. But in, in some ways, I'm happy. I'm happy with a lot of the songs I've written. Mm. But then again, you know, I've got to write the next one, and it's so... <laughs> 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 All right, well, let's, uh, let's take a look now at uh, a song off your Stormcock album from 1971. Roy Harper, have a good time in New Zealand while you're here. Thanks, Dick. I intend to enjoy it. <laughs> 